Hello, welcome back. And we go now to Lyle Shelton in Canberra for our regular Politics in Focus segment. Has it been snowing there, Lyle? Uh, well, it's certainly been snowing on the Brindabella surrounding uh, Canberra, Kent. Uh, a light dusting there this morning on the way to work. OK. Uh, now, Lyle, we've seen some quite sobering evidence from various inquiries, uh, reports and, and leaks of men, women and children being abused in Australia's offshore immigration detention centres. But it seems that major parties at the federal level at least are standing together on, on their tough policies, even to the extent of um, silencing detention centre workers who, who speak out. What's going on? Yeah, there does seem to be a problem, Kent. Uh, uh, there certainly seems to be some evidence of abuse, uh, particularly of female detainees on Nauru. Uh, I've seen some very serious allegations of, of rape and, and even one uh, young woman having to go to Brisbane to have uh, an abortion, uh, which is very tragic. Uh, I've written to the Minister for Immigration, Peter Dutton, uh, seeking further information uh, and, and just wanting to be sure that uh, people are being treated in a humane way. OK. And how is the Christian community responding to these issues? Because I guess in some ways it seems that they may be one of the only voices, you know, sort of left. Yeah, well, certainly the, um, the uh, National Council of Churches Refugee Task Force has been active and, and I've had uh, recent meetings with them and uh, certainly share their concerns about uh, these allegations of abuse. You mentioned earlier that both sides of politics are remaining uh, fairly strong on this and uh, this will be tested uh, particularly uh, for the Labor Party at their upcoming conference at the end of the month where their immigration spokesman Richard Miles has indicated that uh, they will keep a strong stand against uh, people smuggling. But let's hope that both sides can uh, look at these allegations and ensure that uh, if people do have to be detained offshore that they are treated in a humane way and are not being abused. Yeah, I, I guess um, I'm reminded of, you know, what Martin Luther King said, uh, you know, a long time ago, you, you can't achieve um, moral ends by immoral means. And that this, um, you know, Tony Abbott might be able to say, well, we've stopped the boats. But uh, on the other hand, it's the most vulnerable people who appear to have been, you know, targeted as a deterrent to achieve this. Is this a moral concern? Yeah, it definitely is a moral concern, Kent. Um, if uh, there is widespread abuses of people and if these, um, if these uh, allegations are sustained, then, then clearly there's a problem there. Uh, just remembering, though, that both sides of politics are, are really trying to balance a really difficult situation where people smugglers have exploited uh, the situation, have exploited vulnerable people, and, of course, we've seen, seen um, many hundred, well over a thousand deaths at sea, and that's what the parties are focused on trying to stop. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, there's no excuse for treating people in an inhumane way. And uh, I'll be very interested to see what the Minister, Peter Dutton, has to say in response to the concerns I've raised with him. Yeah, OK. It certainly looks like we have some interesting times ahead. Thanks for being with us this week, Lyle. Pleasure, Kent. Thanks a lot for having us.